welcome to another ride along with goggles and um today <laughs> the other day we drove down uh uh recon and driver 47's uh highway 200 in montana we went right past lincoln and i said uh well there's going to be some pickup things here sooner or later places to pick something up and there was at that time i just had an out of date uh, uh example of the uh ats expansion so here we are in Lincoln, Nebraska, or Montana, <laughs> Nebraska, dope. And we're at uh, Hell Creek Beef Jerky. And we picked up a load of beef jerky here. And we're taking it to Salmon, Idaho. And we've got this, uh, this is about the wildest skin I've ever done. It's a um, Colton Thompson flat glass Kenworth, uh, 2020 Kenworth with flat glass, which is an option then and we got the w900 front end or the a style front fenders on it and uh yeah that's quite a paint job holy that took a while particularly uh, you know all that little purple stripe i kind of wish i made the little purple stripe uh a few more pixels wider so it show up better because you get out here and it's gone but you get in here and you can see it but anyway it's a, a real company in uh New Zealand or no Australia and uh, SRV road freight services is a real deal and this man they do the wildest paint jobs down there and my friend Matt from New Zealand sent me a picture of this one and uh, well we had to do it <laughs> this is a while ago it's on steam it's been on steam for quite a while it's at least over a year anyway but um, let's uh, hop in and get going oh I just got a default SCS trailer here because I've had a busy day Saturday and lots going on and I didn't get a chance to really do anything special for it but I need to do a trailer skin for this thing someday okay let's hop in here and I guess going out that way that's a bigger gate than that little one down there this uh, seating position is a little weird. Like I'm way back in the, like look where that seat is there. It's like you're sitting in the back of a three window coupe. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's do it. You gotta kind of really, you know, turn your head around real far at the Toby and get your head out the window. <laughs> To not run into too much trouble with your vision. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. So we're rolling here with a uh, 3406 B. which is real old for this truck. <laughs> a 2020 truck would never have a 3406B in it, but. Go straight. Oh, here's that darn way station again. Oh, we're getting pulled in. Oh, well, we know what to do this time. Go to the second entrance and hang a left. Head around the mulberry bush. Keep right. After 50 yards, go straight. Go straight. Go straight. Uh, sorry, honey. Uh, that's, looks like a different truck. <laughs> I'll go back, go back and check the other video. Oh, there's a Hell Creek uh, Jerky uh, truck skin right there. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. Got the Great Dane uh, mud flaps on here from Larry. Larry A. I'll put a link to that in the video. Of 
Good old Larry. He's done some good stuff. Nice skins too. Really big. He's big on doing uh, uh, actual company skins from his time truck, and he's a retired trucker. Eighty six seven thirty three. We got forty eight thousand pounds on, so one hundred yards, turn right, turn right. After fifty yards, turn left. Yeah, you get a notepad. Write down all the orders old Lori's barking turn out left. here. She really gets after it. Um, trying to think of the, oh, the transmission we have in here came with the truck. It's got its own interior sound effect pack that comes with it as well. Well, it's quite the uh, trip economy gauge you've got there. It's got a sliding bar for your, uh, projected economy so while we're excited oh, accelerating that's pretty much hard right we'll see it stabilize here a little bit if we uh, get up to speed well, I guess we're climbing a little bit wobbly suspension going here so here's that left hand turn up here did we pass it right there that's the road that goes up to that wild uh, logging site kind of missed it last time mentioned it but we'd already driven by it keep right those gas pumps a gas or diesel there go straight yes that's gas the diesel's over further man <laughs> that was a weird reflex to slow down when I, I got the camera too close to the trailer. So I slowed down. I wonder what that was about. I have to talk to Pavlov and see why I reacted like that. Keep right. I hope some of you folks uh, managed to grab uh, Recon and Driver 47's um, ATS expansion from Truckee 
and uh, have a look. Oh boy, that's give her, give her the beans. There we go. Guy slowed down. And yeah, it does make a difference if you put your signal on. If you don't signal, they don't often slow down. If you do, they will. More often than not. He's still coming, and I'm speeding. Oh, shoot, I just put the cruise on. I don't know if I disabled that. So it's okay going around the left-hand corner because our sensor is out that way. It's not seeing that guy right there. Let's see what happens here. Keep right. After 50 oh. yards, exit right ahead. Time to slow down anyway. Yeah, I think we just stay in this lane for now. I'm pretty sure that right lane ends. Unless somebody starts turning left here, we'll jump out of it if we got room. Yep. Should be good. Go straight. Pretty sure it goes down to one lane soon. Oh, that's a weird little jog in the road and a close Jersey barrier. Darn. I better get over in that lane. It's going on longer than I expected. Go straight. Hard to pass. Oh, we got to turn right here. Shoot. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. Concrete pump truck. Those things are pretty amazing. Man, there's some big ones. Holy, you see some of them running around town. Five axles, six axles. Great big monsters. That's a baby one. I don't even think I've seen one that small in Calgary, to tell you the truth. seldom see anything that's uh, well I don't think I've ever seen one that wasn't a tritum at least salmon 155 and this thing says 156 oh 155 There's that NASCAR trailer. Let me 
sure the lane's gonna end soon now. Well, I think we got a measure of them anyway. I looked at that uh, little blurb they put out from SCS on uh, what's coming with California. And uh, pretty interesting. I uh, put a link to it on, if you haven't seen it, there's... Oh, another scale. Dang. Go straight. I think this is that ugly one on the left here. Yeah. Um... Uh, yeah, so they're going to be concentrating on uh, Eastern California and um, that area east of LA, it looks like. Because, I mean, east, they've already, you know, in the north, they've done Sacramento and east up there, all the way up to, uh, oh, uh, Idaho. So, I think we're going to be seeing. They got a special tease that they're not telling you what it is, but I have a sneaking suspicion that's going to be Yosemite. And I think they talk about two or three new highways and stuff, and they're all down around east of LA, I guess, maybe to uh, from there south. Uh, we got business here, Lori. Chill. Guess I gotta get between those cones. Eighty six five thirty six. Need some fuel. Oh, I guess we'll go over this way. Or can we? Oh, that's keep left. Yes, yeah, works. After fifty yards, turn left. Well, it really bugs me that uh, I should probably move the seat forward. Uh, we're stuck at this light here. Maybe that's what I'll do. Because all that bobbing and weaving and everything else is annoying. Let's uh, move the seat here. Let's see. What do we want? Options or something or other. Uh, oh, no. That's not it. We do it from driving. What am I doing? Yeah, we can just go, uh, I got it right here. Just seats. Whoops. Forward. Let's put them up here. See what this is like. Mirrors are going to be a little goofy, but... Oh, that's a lot less... Well, there's a little bit of it there, but it's not as bad. You can look out here. Get a better look at the uh, gauges. Where's the boost gauge? Oh, boost second from the right on the top. All right, this is a nice drive here. We got coming, so let's enjoy this. It's a beautiful drive from here into Salmon. Go straight.
Ah, look at the old track lean. Oh boy. I have to get out the what do you call you the motion sickness pills. Wow. <laughs> Fork, Bitterroot River. Yeah, the Bitterroot Mountains. Barb and I've been through there on our honeymoon way back in the day. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. I really enjoyed that trip. This area of the U.S. was really nice to drive through. Pin coming up ahead, you can see on the GPS. I uh, went in there too fast once and uh, tipped the truck over. In the game, <laughs> yeah, in real life. Yeah, that was something else. Wasn't paying attention, I guess, to how fast I was going into it. We got the, uh, yeah, we got this camera. See how it looks on this truck. Check out some of the scenery. About. Let's try this one. The old drive by. Oh, that pump truck is right behind us. I gotta uh, get back in the uh, driver's seat. Gonna have an accident. Oh boy, hang on there, Bubba. Well, we're not done with all the windy stuff yet either. Look ahead. Another NASCAR trailer there? Oh. Wonder what he's advertising here. What's going on there? Chevrolet Montoya. Oh, Juan Pablo Montoya. He is quite a guy. Still is. I mean, he's. What's, it, what's he doing? I think, was he a driving coach for Alex Albon in F1 now? Uh, I can't remember. He's, he's, he's back in the F1 paddock. I think he's a driver coach for one of the drivers, one of the younger fellas. Speaking of which, Azerbaijan Grand Prix this weekend. I watched the uh, sprint race today, being Saturday, Saturday evening, quite late now. 
but uh, it's sort of interesting. I'm not crazy about the track, gotta gotta admit. I like uh, the more pure race courses. I like Spa, man. That's epic. I used to like uh, Imola when they would go there. That was pretty cool. Monza's not terrible because, I mean, they got that long straight and passing opportunity heading up to that first chicane. That's kind of cool. And then that parabolica is kind of a nuts turn. If your car's handling good, you're going to get out of there quick. But it's uh, interesting. Silverstone classic Man, Juan Pablo must be sleeping in the back. He didn't want to wake him up. So I guess that's supposed to be Target. Chip Ganassi. Sixteen miles to go, so yeah, we're almost there. That dude's checking out on us too. I guess I better get going. Have that uh, pump truck behind us passing us. Hiccups right there. It's a good uh, bushnell site here on the right. Oh, yeah, we're going to the farmer's barn. That's the other side of Salmon, the other side of downtown. There's our uh, home garage here in Salmon on the left. Go straight. way those rear tires go across the road so weird it's like the uh, AI trailers they gotta kind of cheat like with the back end swinging around like that because uh, the AI can't make corrections for for traffic and things like that so they they turn and the trailer swings around the back so keeps them out of trouble I guess I like these old brick buildings in these small towns. Keep right. After 50 yards, go straight. 
like when they're, you know, vintage, nice and old. It's kind of cool. Go straight. US 93. So that's that pretty wobbly road down there. If you hang a right, it's got some interesting corners on it. And, uh, and you get that chance to peel off towards uh, Ketchum. If you're lucky enough to get a load down there and in the more real scenic uh, park area. So, yeah, Idaho is no slouch either for scenery. Well, it's been a long time since we've had to hurry up for uh, potentially being late. After 100 yards, turn left. Turn left. Been in and out of here quite a few times with turnpike doubles. Because, man, that pump truck is following us, man, all the way here. Yeah, he's moving on. <laughs> Not coming to shoot out our tires Reach or anything. All right. Okay. See what we can do here. Oh boy, let's get a look at what's out in the way there. See, they, oh man, they put that trailer right there. There we go. Oh, shoot. Well, we had no choice but to come in from that side. Now we're going to run over this bit of little concrete here again. I think the beef jerky can handle it. I'll just get the trailer tires over it. Yeah, because we need the, uh... Yeah, they're always doing something like that to make it annoying. All right. Oh, you know what? I've got that. Let's see if we can do it here. There we go. I'll make it easier. Yeah, if you disable the automatic drop axle thing, it's a real big help with a situation like this. This trailer is going to turn a heck of a lot sharper now with that axle off the ground. Doesn't seem like it would make much difference, but I think I showed a little bit of the difference in that uh, uh, parking tick. What? trailers tips and tricks oh I can't remember oh yeah speaking of which I did that tutorial went out on Saturday for the light pack and uh, <clears throat> putting the light box on that uh, trailer I hope that worked out on the uh, trailer we pulled the other day the uh, Barrett cattle cattle trailer Uh, hopefully that was uh, adequate. I didn't see t any comments, so I guess either it was garbage or, <laughs> or it worked. I don't know. Two hundred sixty-six gallons, two hundred sixty-seven miles. That's not terrific. Got to do that mileage check thing one of these days. Anyway, there we are with the uh, um, 
Road Freight Services, RSV, or SRV, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Man, what a shame about that dude. He was epic. Anyway, there we are. Um, and once again, if you have this truck, that skin's up on Steam. And uh, there you go. I'll put a link to it in the, uh, in the description of the video. So as always, guys, take care. I appreciate you following along, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.